hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video you will learn how to create React applications using Create React App command line tool. And if you don't know, it's the most popular way to start writing React applications. And this video is for you if you just start learning React and you want to know how to create applications efficiently and fast. So let's jump right into it. So there are a lot of ways to start writing React. And the most popular, of course, it's just creating index.html and adding script to this page. But this is really just for simple testing. It's not suitable for normal applications, because what we want to have is some web server and of course generated project for us. And this web server will reload the page with each page change when we are changing our code. Also, we want to have some hints from React, highlights of code and so on. This is why we have Create React App. It's the most popular tool, which is supported by Facebook directly, and it has all these features that we need. The most important thing is to check how we can install it. And here is the super important line. For creating an application, you need to have Node 8 or Node 10 or above. This is why if you don't have Node on your machine, you can just jump in nodejs.org and download Node here. And I highly recommend you to always use LTS version, which is long-term support, because it's more stable than the current. But of course, Create React App will work with both versions. The most important is that the version will be higher than 10. And after installation node, you can write in console node minus version and get some version. It doesn't actually matter what version do you have, but if it is more than 10, then you are safe. Now, the question is how we can install Create React App. And actually, we don't need to install it, because it is already inside in npm or yarn. So actually, if you just installed Node, you can also write npm minus version, because it is installed automatically. For example, I have version 6. Also, maybe you are using Yarn, and if you don't know it's a package manager, it's also really popular, and you can also generate Create React projects with it. As you can see, there are a lot of possibilities how we can generate it. For example, here is the example with NPX, and we can scroll a little bit, and here are different examples. So here we have npm or yarn, these are two most popular. So we can write with npm, npm init, then react app, and exactly this is the word which will say for npm what it should generate. And this means that we are generating create react app. And uh, my app is the name of our project. So actually npm init and initializer, so this React app is your initializer. And this is super important because it's only available in Node with npm 6 plus. And this is why it's important to check if you have npm 6 at least. In this way, you can use npm to generate React app project. So as you can see, we don't need to install anything additionally, but we need to provide initializer for npm. And in the same way works yarn. So I can write yarn create and then the initializer react app and then the name. So let's now generate a project. I will use here yarn, you can use npm, it doesn't really matter. So we simply paste yarn create react app and then the name of our project. In this case, it's my app. And it can take like several minutes until all packages will be installed. As you can see now, I got a success message, so we successfully created my app, and inside directory we have several commands from create react app to start our application. So we can use yarn start or npm start to start the application, and of course there are other commands, for example for production build we can write yarn build, and so on. So what we want to do is jump in my app that we created, and now we can simply write yarn start, or with npm it will be npm start. And as you can see now in my browser I automatically got in localhost 3000, because after this command create react app started a web server. And as you can see, it is compiled successfully. And now we can jump directly to localhost 3000. And if this port for some reason is used on your machine, then it will automatically 
increase the number and then use the other port. As you can see, our project works because here we have a React logo and we can change something in order to see that our changes are applied. So if you are getting something like this with compiled successfully and this page, this means that you successfully generated your first create React app project. Now let's clean our folder a little bit. So here I have an editor with my app. So this is what we generated. We have a lot of files and folders here, but I just want to make a small adjustments so we can start later to write code. So for us, the most interesting folder is source. And if we will jump here, you can see a lot of files. And we have here a message, edit source app.js and save to reload. So let's jump in source app.js and as you can see here we have a lot of stuff. It doesn't really matter what we have here, this is just a function with some markup, but I just want to remove everything and just make it clean. So here I just removed everything and inside div I can just write hello react and we can remove imports from the top. So I will remove a logo and app CSS because we don't need them for now. Also here in our file structure, I want to clean everything a little bit. First of all, we don't use CSS, so I will remove it completely. We don't need test for now. I also will remove logo and report web vitals. Also, we don't need setup test. And now we also don't need index CSS. Now let's jump in index.js and as you can see here, we still have this import index CSS and we can remove it from here because for now we don't need anything. Also here is the line regarding import report web vitals. We don't need it also. And now here, as you can see, we're rendering React application and we can remove from the bottom report web vitals because we removed them. Now our application is fully cleaned and actually we don't have a lot of stuff there. We just have index.js and one component app.js. And now when we are opening browser, we have simply one line. It's really small, so let's make here h1 and close here h1 tag. And now you can see in browser automatically and React reloads this page for us that we have here hello React message. And what is really important, React sees all our changes. So when we are changing this file, for example, you can see automatically in browser that this file was updated and now we're seeing our updated project. And this is of course really convenient and you can't really get such behavior if you're using plain index.html and just source of React. I hope that this video brought you understanding how you can generate React projects using Create React App. And actually this is the most popular solution to build scalable React applications. Also, if you want to learn more regarding web technologies, I highly recommend that you check my advanced courses regarding different web technologies and I will link it down in the description box below. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to put thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't like this video, then consider watching it once again on increased speed. And I will see you in my next video.